James J.T. Warren Taylor is an American singer who achieved fame as the lead singer of Cool and the Gang between 1979 and 1988. His inclusion marked a new era for the band. During his tenure with the group, they achieved significant success with hits like Celebration, Joanna, and Cherish. These songs helped solidify Cool and the Gang as one of the most iconic funk and R&B bands of the 1980s. His soulful voice, stage presence, and dynamic performances played a crucial role in the band's commercial success during that period. His contributions helped Cool and the Gang become internationally renowned, and his influence on the band's sound and image left a lasting impact on popular music. JT's vocal talents were discovered at the age of seven while singing in his church choir, rapidly inspiring praise for him throughout his neighborhood. At the age of 13, JT formed his first band, gaining New York State recognition with an appearance at the world-famous Apollo Theater. During his time as a high school track star, he advanced in his artistry and newfound capacity for songwriting to the point that he began to receive considerable attention from record companies. Although enthused by their offers, the virtue of knowledge instilled by his treasured mother led him to pursue school as the primary priority. His decisions would lead him to accept a scholarship from Norfolk State University. After two years, JT's heart impelled him to pursue his dream. He began to sing full-time in a variety of bands, which helped him widen his appreciation for jazz, R&B, rock, gospel, country, and classical music. JT's net worth is estimated at $6 million solely earned through his music endeavors. His talent has been awarded by winning a Grammy Award for Album of the Year, an American Music Award, he is a member of the Songwriters Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and a recipient of the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. Early Life JT was born on August 16, 1953, in Lawrence, South Carolina, and grew up in Hackensack, New Jersey. Before his rise to fame, he was a teacher and nightclub singer, having first joined a band at the age of 13. In 1978, he played with Milton Galfaz, Christopher Galfaz, and Elton Johns in full force. He left full force when Christopher Galfaz brought him to his brother's House of Music studio to audition for Cool and the Gang. Personal Life JT is married to Starliana Young, who is a singer and former member of the 80s group Aura, and together they have a son Xavier who is also a musician. Professional Career JT joined the band in 1979 after the group auditioned for a lead singer. He noted that vocals added more warmth to the songs, especially to ballads which the group had avoided as no one could sing them properly. He also recalled some resistance from some members and the group of female singers they had used on The Force and Everybody's Dancing. In 1979, the band recorded and released Ladies' Night, which became their most successful album since their formation helped by the singles Too Hot and Ladies' Night, which went to number 5 and number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, respectively. In January 1980, Ladies' Night was certified platinum by the RIA for selling 1 million copies in the U.S. In September 1980, the band released the album Celebrate. It became a bigger commercial success than Ladies' Night. The lead single, Celebration, remains the band's only single to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100 Singles chart. The song originated from the lyric, Come On, Let's All Celebrate, from Ladies' Night, which inspired Robert Bell to write a song that he described as an international anthem. The band developed the song on a tour bus after attending the American Music Awards. The song was used in national media coverage for the 1980 World Series, the 1981 Super Bowl, the 1981 NBA Finals, and the 1981 Return of the Iran Hostages. After the release of Something Special in 1981, which continued the level of success of the previous two albums, the band recorded as one in 1982, their fourth and final album with producer Ymir Deodato. The latter struggled to reach gold certification in the U.S., which led to the band's decision to end their time with Deodato as they had enough with the direction they had adopted. They then decided to produce their next album in the heart in 1983 by themselves with Jim Bonifond as co-producer. The album contained the U.S. Top 5 single, Joanna. The song was declared the most played pop song in 1984 by Broadcast Music International. Bonifon stayed with the group for Emergency 1984, which remains their highest-selling album with over 2 million copies sold in the U.S. It spawned four U.S. Top 20 singles, including Emergency, Cherish, Fresh, and Misled. This feat made Cool and the Gang the only band to have four top 20 singles from a single album in 1985.
In June 1984, Cool and the gang took time off from recording Emergency to perform at Wembley Stadium as part of a sold-out summer concert organized by Elton John. That November, during a visit to Phonogram's offices in London, Bob Geldof arrived to pitch his idea of the multi-artist charity single Do They Know It's Christmas to the label. Cool and the gang participated in the project. The group's 17th album, Forever, was released in November 1986. The album included two hit singles on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, Victory and Stone Love. Two further singles, Holiday and Special Way, were also released from the album. The former reached the top 10 on the R&B chart. The latter hit reached number 6 on the Adult Contemporary chart. By 1986, the band had scored 14 top 40 singles in the U.S. since 1980, more than Michael Jackson. In July 1986, the band recorded a special version of Celebration with different vocals that was used in an advertisement for Wendy's. In 1987, the band completed a 50-city tour of the U.S. The tour included the group establishing their own public service program devised by Robert Bell and JT, which encouraged school children to pursue education, giving free tickets to those with perfect attendance. The group rehearsed their stage show with a choreographer at Prince's studio at Paisley Park. At the time of the tour's start, the band ceased producing adverts with Schlitz beer because of their new image towards children and that they felt it had run its course. After the tour, Taylor left Cool and the Gang to pursue a solo career, but briefly returned in 1996 for the State of Affairs album. He has also reunited with the band a few times in live concerts. Solo career? In 1988, JT pursued a solo career and has released four solo albums to date. He scored an immediate solo hit with All I Want Is Forever, a duet with Regina Bell, which was featured on the soundtrack to the early 1989 Gregory Hines film, Tap. The song later appeared as a bonus track on CD editions of Taylor's debut solo album, Master of the Game, along with Bell's next solo album, both of which were released that same year. Master of the Game produced several additional hits, including the single The Promised Land, which also appeared on the soundtrack of Ghostbusters 2. In 1991, he released his second solo album, Feel the Need, which garnered the hits Long Hot Summer Night and Heart to Heart, a duet with Stephanie Mills. 1993 saw the release of the singer's third solo album, Baby I'm Back, followed by his fourth solo album in 2000 titled A Brand New Me. Acting career. In the 1990s, JT began his acting career in the 1992 Hollywood film The Mambo Kings and the long-running Broadway musical Raisin. In addition to his music career, JT is also an advocate for social justice. He has worked with several organizations to raise awareness about issues such as poverty, hunger, and homelessness. He is also a strong supporter of the arts. JT is a talented singer, songwriter, and actor who has enjoyed a long and successful career in music. He is a true icon of American popular music. Thank you for watching. Click on the bell notification button and subscribe for more content like this.